championship that has become quite a trophy here in this territory of battle. If anybody knows something about trophies, or this is you. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you joining us at Online, my name is Jason V. I'm your host for the night, and this is my commentating partner. Norman, Norman, Norman the belligerent. The belligerent. Oh, and Sam, Norman, what have you been up to? We haven't seen you in months. I have been doing battle as a mercenary in many of the territories, and in the process of that, I became weary and had to rest. Well, I'm glad you took my phone call. I'm glad you came up to me. I had a nap. <laughs> And I'm glad you're back involved in the UWC. John Stone's not with us tonight. Eric Lloyd's now doing football games and other seasonal activities. But Sam Knight is, and he is ready. Ready for war. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. That knee. I think Sam was going for that spear. He was not ready for that. He so may what? be ready for war, but not that. Now, Alex Castle, we haven't seen him since the heat is on. And honestly, before that, the last time we saw you, you were in the ring with Alex Castle. I mean, do you have any comments on that man? Alex Castle is a dastardly man. He will do whatever it takes to take out a foe, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but that is not how I choose to do war. Well, right now, he's, he's uh, got the advantage on Sam as we speak. He certainly does. If he keeps this up, we're going to look at a new online champion. Now, Sam Knight. Now, I know you've been gone for a while, but Sam Knight has been the most fighting online champion in the title short history. Sam, Sam, Sam Knight is a large man, and it seems that he is so powerful. I, I have no idea what it would be like to go against a man that powerful. And his gear... His, his attire makes me think of war. It is war. He is the right hand of God. And more wars have been fought in the name of God than any other reason. So I think he, he that could be a man, as a mercenary yourself, you would do fine battles with, sir. I would, or I would like to lead him into battle. Ooh. I am still at rest. I, would, I, I feel I would not even need to lead him as much as be there for moral support. A good general doesn't just lead. He... He guides and has war. He's got, speaking of guiding, look at Castle guiding those elbows directly into the bridge of the nose of Sam Knight. Those are a very legal blow. Earlier I noticed Alex Castle closing the fist, closing the fist. I have nothing against this. I say it is part of war. It, what isn't a part of war? I mean, what, do you, what war tactics are you against? Your eyes right now, that they cannot see, but your eyes. They can't see. It, no, you can see with your eyes. I can't. Sam Knight! Oh my goodness! Sam, Sam Knight, Knight, Knight on fire, folks! This is such a warrior's war that he is fighting. Earlier in the battle, he was down, but now he has become up. Oh, oh, they're doing battle on the apron. That is not, I am not for this. No. No, 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 this will, this will take him out. That is the hardest part of the ring. It certainly the, is. Oh! Oh, he hit him with that spear. Check on him. Mike Underwood. I don't know if he will get up from this. That part of the ring that is not fought within the Geneva Convention because it is out of the boundaries. It is definitely out of boundaries. I don't know anything about Geneva Conventions, but that's it. Two. Oh! oh. Sam Knight oh. is so, so strong. He hit that cut it up. He Two. wants to win the title still. The trophy that is the online championship of the United Wrestling yeah. Coalition drives this man. That and God. Being at I've, the right hand of God. I have seen Castle win numerous matches with that ace crusher finishing maneuver. Now this is a right hand. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. One. This could be it. This could be it. Oh. You never that know. That was close. Oh. Pass by with that. Go. Can you get him? I know. That's that rock bottom. He's lucky. Sam Knight. Pass two, three. There he goes. Here is your winner, the right hand of God and retaining online champion, Sam Knight. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Knight retains champion, still the champion. Man, this guy is earning my respect week by week. That is how much that, that championship has become to me. He is, yes, you are. You are the best online of the champions. Folks, 
that's all we got for this match. We're going to do some other things. We're going to pay some bills. Then we're probably going to come back. Man, this, you do not want to miss the rest of this. This, Alex this Castle night. has to buy some shoelaces. Ooh, he needs to buy some shoelaces. Man, I don't even know. This is a wild night. We'll be right back. The Blockheads, starring Blanche and Blaine Blockheads. Hey, why did you change the channel? I thought you hated wrestling. This isn't any wrestling. This is UWC Online, now available on UPTV Channel 6. So you might as well throw your remote away because every Wednesday night at 10.30 p.m. you can relive all of your favorite moments from UWC Season 1 and 2. UWC Online on UPTV. You don't have to be a blockhead to enjoy it. Recently, and a man of a quality beard much like yourself must, oh man, must appreciate something of such facial magnificence. Now, Tornado Jones and Aaron Matthews will certainly have to use their speed and agility to their advantage against two such large gentlemen as the long Mark Vandy and the very wide, very wide Bo Sawyer. Now, Bo Sawyer looks as though he's never even lifted a weight in his life. Genetics has now, blessed him with a body such as that. Now the real important question is, the Horizon Cup implications on the line, does Tornado Jones under that mask have a beard? That is an interesting question. If he's any type of warrior, he will. Even Aaron right. Matthews, being a rather baby-faced and young, young warrior, new, new blood, he has the young chin beard. He's got, it's, yes, it's, it's nice, it's trimmed, it's, it's, there we go. Enough about beards, Norman. Tornado, what are you doing? Tornado Jones, they will also have to use their intellect, which should not be hard against a gentleman like Cabo Sawyer. Now, I'm not aware, I believe, that Mr. Oh! Wow! That was right in the beard. The noodle! Right in the beard! There was not a noodle, that was his hand, his arm is very spaghetti-like! And he's weak arm spaghetti! Wow! It looked like cooked spaghetti, not uncooked! This cook over here! Wow! I've never seen anything like that! Yes! And I have been in several wars! That driver was not Oklahoma City, that was not Georgetown, Illinois, that was a Death Valley driver over the Undertaker! That is a very warm place. Oh! Kick to the face. You see, Aaron, Matthews, he got the hand up a little bit. He, Vandy did not get all of it. But no. Bo, Bo Sawyer now, that's the heavy hitter. It was enough to slow Matthews down. Now, Bo Sawyer should come in. Speaking of warmth, it looks like he's become warm just by sitting, waiting on the ring. That's how large this man is. He emits heat on his own. You see, the anticipation creates perspiration. It does. And I tell you what, you may say about Bosler's intelligence that he may not have it all up there in his gourd, but I was in the ring with this man just a few weeks ago, and this is not the Bo Sawyer of days and years and weeks and all those past. This is a new man. He's focused, and he, man, he beat the bejesus out of me. I like, must admit, I have not seen him in many, many eons, and I do believe if he was able to best you, he should be intelligent. He didn't best me. He decimated me. I don't think I had one offensive maneuver. Vandy absolutely leveling Aaron Matthews. The reach on a man like Mark Vandy. Can you imagine trying to execute a single strike or a takedown on a man so long? I don't know the tail of the tape. I do not know length plus width equals height. I don't know any of those things, but I know Mark Vandy does have long arms. Pi so, R squared. Pi R squared. You have pi? Oh, I Oh man! I did bring peaches. Bo Sawyer 
shows exactly what you do to create a path in the forest. And what do you do, Norman? You chop. He you does. Chop them down. Chop them. Chop them. Like the king of cars. Uh oh. Up there. From a follow-up position into a spine buster. The strength. The width. Exceeding the width of Aaron Matthews' entire body. Yes. This man is so large. He will attempt. That was foolhardy to attempt no, to. No, 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 no. They didn't even tag. Now, see, Bo realized he knew he didn't tag, so he stayed in. Oh, perhaps Bo Sawyer is has gained some intelligence. Either that or did he get lost? He might. I think Vandy's calling the shots, honestly. You see, during your absence, a man by the name of Jimmy Carroll, which you know very well, has got, he seems to have taken Bo Sawyer under his wing, and even though he hasn't been here in person recently, Bo Sawyer, because of his alliance with Jimmy Carroll, has got a type of mean streak that we haven't seen yet. But now TJ's back in the ring, Tornado Jones. I do not approve of anybody impersonating Jimmy Carroll. Uh oh, is that Kata Hajime? Oh my goodness, this could choke him unconscious. It is legally a choke, I do believe. But, no, no, oh, tornado right there. Tilt the oh, world, so twist the death scissor. That is the agility that he must employ. One drop kick, how many are we gonna get tonight? He needs to keep this pace up. Two. The only way to head into war is fast and hard. Uh oh, up to the apron. Oh, he struck him. He struck him. One step ahead of Mark Vandy. And there's the, oh, there's a face buster. Could he get him? He got He's him. One, man. fall two. Oh, fall the rope. There's his large, the, lanky legs. That leg comes into play. This is what I'm saying, Jason. Aaron, Can you imagine? Is this a good idea? Aaron Matthews took a beating a little bit ago. Both on the top rope. Oh, that is where the leg. No. no. That, TJ. That, Jason, is where the leg plays against you. No matter where you are in the ring, you're a target. I saw a man get taken out of action permanently. Christopher Nowinski in 2003 had that move done to him. Oh. No, no, no. Look at TJ. Goodness. Tornado he, Jones. He, he looks like he's hurt. He may have damaged his knee. He came down ugly on that. Ugly. Aaron Matthews is a valiant warrior. He is checking on his partner. All due respect to Aaron, he doesn't need to check on TJ right now. He needs to get in the ring. He needs to win this match. There he goes. Look good. He took my advice. He Who my has advice. fallen? Who has fallen? Oh! Oh, goodness! Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I knee. personally know that knee. That's a awesome force. The strength and the wherewithal of the two men in the ring overcame the speed of Aaron and TJ. But did Tornado Jones injure himself and put him out of self? Oh my god! Oh goodness! No! Mark Vandy's leg did not help him there! I get it! Next week, these four men are in the tournament. It's, it's gonna be every man for himself. Well, it appears that the man for himself the most is Bo Sawyer. Oh. He's taking to that injured knee. And Bo Sawyer standing tall all by himself. That is, is this a sign? Can we see this next week of such a greatness? Can we see this Bo Sawyer as your Horizon Cup champion? I believe that I have just seen greatness. Tornado Jones may be hurt after that, but you see his, see his leg over there. But Aaron Matthews might be hurt as well. I mean, he's been clutching that face. That knee has done damage. And, and then Bo Sawyer striking his own partner tonight, Mark Vandy. This match was just full of surprises, Jason. I don't know what to think at this point. What does this bring for one Vandy? And will Tornado Jones and Aaron Matthews be able to compete? Thank you. 
Hey everybody, I'm Rocket Grunt Josh, and welcome back to my Until Dawn Minecraft Story Mode Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Challenge. Live and learn. Live and learn, guys. It's Sanic. Sanic Bursley is straight up MLG Pro. No, he's not okay. He's pretty halved. He's been halved pretty bad. So, with that, I will see everybody next time. Goodbye. 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 Right there. Right there is what you're going to see at Ascension of Greatness. And I know some people are going to say, why did I punch Mark Vandy after we won that tag match? <laughs> hey. He's a contender in that match. He's a contender for something I want, and he's not going to take it away from me. Aaron Matthews isn't going to take it away from me. Tornado Jones isn't going to take it away from me. And Tornado, now you get a hurt little knee. Aaron Matthews, you took your eye off the ball. And Mark Vandy, I flat out don't care. Because when it's said done, it's you to greatness. I'm walking away. Horizon Cup champion. your announcing abilities and you are like a microphone magician I will say I know how to call them to war I talk what can I say you that was a pep talk that was much needed it got me hot it got me bothered it got me sweaty maybe it's the fact that it's 98 degrees right here Nicholas Shea not in the building man I am pumped up for this main event all that I do is not enough for you. Yes. Yeah. Cerveza here seems to have put on some mass. While O'Reilly seems to have cut down to a leaner, meaner, more defined Joey O'Reilly. You see, Joey, he has been named the number one contender for Blake Reed's heavyweight championship. They'll do battle with him at Ascension of Greatness. He knows he will not defeat Blake in the mass department. So he's trimmed down. He's gotten quicker. He's gotten leaner. So yes, he, he is using what he has to his ability to make it the best war that he could go to. Can Joey walk home with the championship next week? Joey has a, a different set of skills from most of the smaller gentlemen in that his strikes are so devastatingly hard as we see those kicks right there flooring Cerveza. Joey does have a mixed martial arts background. He knows his kicks, he knows his strikes. His dragon dagger back kick is one of the most devastating moves in this company. This super kick alone that the man throws is more a mega kick than a super kick. Mega, mega, super, ultra, mega. Mass homicide. Yes. Oh, there we go. And there's the agility. Yes. You know, you can do all the flips in the world, but Cerveza just answered with a punch to the face. Straight to the mush. Cecil is such a basic, grounded, technical wrestler in his motions. They're not wasted. Hey, see, we pointed out the, the massive facial hair earlier, earlier with Mark Vandy and Bo Sawyer. What I notice here is both of these men who have sported beards in the past now are st brought to us straight baby face, slicked, sleek. What do you think of that? Do you think that that is going to be a problem for this match? Are they going to lose focus because of their lost facial hair? They may, but in the future it may aid O'Reilly. If I into a heavyweight championship match with a man as large as Reed, I would want to have as much streamlining and ability to not have friction resistance on me. Man, that was a good reason. That's good. That's good. I have good reason. That's why you're the color man here. That is why you're here, and you're here to call the action. And we're, we're going to give these people a different insight. Not John Stone, all due respect. Not Eric Lloyd. We're competitors who have been in the ring, and we know what it takes. And then right now, it takes a bunch of punches to 
the gut of Cecil Cerveza. Talk about Cecil's gut, Norman. I do call it action. You call Cecil's gut action. You have nicknamed his gut. I do. I do. If the gut sometimes can be a deceiving thing. Arn Anderson, for example, looked like he was made of Play-Doh. But I know for a fact that Arn Anderson was a feared man in the locker room, as well as the, the field of battle known as the ring. Uh, inarguable. Inarguable. You don't keep the name Enforcer for nothing. Do not. I call it action. Now you see, there's a difference in training styles. You see, Joey O'Reilly, even though he does train for vanity and for personal, his look and his appearance, Cecil, I have a good authority, trains for performance. I can believe that. A Clydesdale horse can sometimes outdo the Palomino that should run fastly. Roy Jones Jr. will not knock out Mike Tyson. Uh -oh. I thought you were talking about Roy Orbison. That's He's totally dead. Different. And oh my gosh, did you see? I did. I don't know what to call that. It looked like he was going for a key crusher, but he dropped him directly on his knee. Joey O'Reilly has had a history of shoulder injuries in the past. Does that affect it? I call that two things. Painful and action. Yes. So you effective. call that move action, much like Cecil's gut. Yes. And the shoulder injury in the past should play a part into this. Now, if I were Cerveza, I would be keying in on that shoulder. And that is what I was going to ask you. Does Cecil capitalize on it? Does he focus on the shoulder? If he is he aware of the shoulder history? Is he aware of the problems Joey has had? He should be aware of it. Otherwise, he can get himself parked in. Right there. That sleeper will put you out. He's only got a few seconds. He should be scrambling to get to the ropes. O'Reilly may be out on his feet as we speak, folks. Oh, no amount of training and vanity can save you from no carotid artery blood flow. He's got him in the buckle. See, he's fighting it. Man, he lasted a long time in that sleeper, though. O'Reilly is quite resilient. He's, he's out on his feet. Norman, he's out on his feet. He's... I don't know what he's got. That sleeper will put you out quick. Cerveza needs to be finishing. Soon oh. he did not capitalize quick enough. No, 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 no. Oh. See all that fancy, fancy maneuvers O'Reilly's got. Fancy's fine, but once again, Roy Jones Jr. will not Sir. knock out Mike Tyson. Neither will Roy Orbison. No, because he's dead. More reason he won't knock him out. Okay, kick to the Anything gut. Anything you he, want. He gave that kick to action, as you have called it. I got it. Oh, that, that dragon dagger back kick. That is, that man, is that a is devastating maneuver. Scintillating. Joey O'Reilly strikes devastatingly hard as it is, and he adds to that strike by springboarding off of the middle rope. Now, this is, this is the moment of truth. Cecil just took a major knockdown move, but Joey was in that sleeper for a long time. Joey was then knocked stupid with that with that forearm in the corner. Ken, who's going to capitalize on this now? Jason, you know as well as I do, this is when it comes down to intestinal fortitude. Yes. Who has the guts to move forward? Cecil has the guts. He does. I call that there. action. Boom. That's all you need right there. Super kick. Capitalize. One, two, throw. My view was blocked, and I believe... My view was as well blocked by Dupree. He is Man. rather large. Man. Not in an athletic way. Hey, Dupree is one of the better lawyers in this area. He doesn't need his athleticism to get you off in a court of law. Off charges, I mean. Boom! I wasn't saying anything. I'm just saying. Scissor kick. That's it. Right, That's the setup. Right? That's the setup. He always goes for the 450 right after that scissors kick. That 450. If he hits this. Numerous. If he hits this. So the champion. My goodness. The champion. He is so large. That could be trouble for O'Reilly. See how 
Be Jason B. Norman the Belligerent, UWC Online. See you then. I go to war!